Okay, so in terms of compound interest, let me remove this. And I'm just going to write the equation underneath the simple interest so we can compare it. Sure. So you notice that's mostly similar except for um, we're taking the rate mm -hmm. of interest, we're dividing it by this new variable, n, and raising that to the power of n, t. t is mm -hmm. the same t. Mm -hmm. So the new one here is n, and n is equals to uh, the number of times So n in this case represents the number of times that the interest rate is compounded mm -hmm. for the time period of t. Okay. So for example, if it was compounded once per year, this would just be a one. Mm -hmm. If it was compounded twice per year, two. Mm -hmm. two. Right. And and it's it's the number of times it's that that this interest is compounded per time period. Right. Right. Um, so so let's just make sure we clarify this for everybody here. So this is the formula for simple interest. And this is the formula for Um, okay, uh, I, I think I think it might be helpful to clarify um, that that this that that n here is per unit of t, right? So if so, let's say so let's say if if t is forty years, n is the number of times that the interest is compounded per year of t, right? Right. Right. Okay. Sorry, if I, if I could just borrow a pen here. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just clarify this. Per unit of t. Right. Okay. So, so yes, actually, so we're going to continue on with our example earlier. So if, if everybody remembers from that, that example that Ben just covered, uh, we're starting with $10,000. Right. Uh, we're going to grow it at 6% interest, but compounded... Uh, and we'll make it simple. We'll, we'll say that it's compounded once per year, right. but we'll still grow it for 40 years. So, uh, Ben, why don't you take us through that calculation and, and show us what, how much the, the accrued amount would be over 40 years based on compounded interest at 6%. Okay, so I'm just going to punch those numbers in here. So I'm still solving for A. Compounded once per year, so we'll just divide by one. And again, once per year, but we're doing it for 40 years. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to refer to my notes because I don't yes, have a Yes, that's, that's, right. that's all right. That's all right. We're prepared. Are you ready for how different this is going to be? <laughs> this, this, this is really the magic of compound interest right here. Yeah. And, and that's the thing is that this is, if you recall, um, the value that we ended up with for simple interest was 34000 34000 And now we're talking about 102000 etc. Mm -hmm. So more than triple what we had for simple interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right, right, right about, yeah, yeah. So this is... It, it's not magic in the sense that the math is pretty straightforward, but it is magic how if you start with just $10,000 and you you save it and you invest it at, at 6% is, I, I'd say it's a pretty moderate. Yeah, 6% is a moderate figure, yeah. right? Um, and, and you just leave it for for the, the uh, I would say 40 years is an average duration of how, how, how long somebody works for, right? At the end of at the end of that 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 working period, you're going to end up with more than ten times of what you started with, 
which is really astounding. Um, so, I, I, I think this is partially a, a math and, and finance lesson, um, but it, it's also about the, the importance of investing your money early right. and, and having the discipline to, to not take it out um, during, during these 40 years and just letting compound interest work its magic o- over time so that you'll, you'll end up with a really nice nest egg. Right, exactly. Yeah, and that's the thing, if you notice, so there's, you play around with the different numbers, which I encourage you to do. If you play around with the time frame and the percent, mm-hmm. you can really get some interesting numbers coming out. Yeah, and, and let, let's just make this ju- uh, uh, just a little, um, little more complicated. L- let's suppose that, that we are uh, compounding this twice per year instead of once per year, then, just just to excuse me, thank you, man. Just just to show you how the math works. So so if if the interest is compound, compounded twice per year, then you simply substitute two for n down here in the denom- the denominator, and also n here in in the exponent, and this turns out to be. And I encourage everybody to do this at home. One. 106 408.91 so so as Ben suggested earlier it's it's a good idea for everybody at home to play around with these these numbers the interest rate the number of times it's co- compounded the number of years that we're using to, to grow um, this investment just to see what you have um, at the end the diff- the, the different variations of this result okay.